Alright, what's up YouTube? It's Otis RHW. I'm doing a video here on the new jailbreak. You can find it at jailbreakme.com. But the server is down right now, so that's, I wasn't even going to do a video on this, but no, I decided I'd do it because, oops, I just restored this thing. I forgot about auto lock. But, uh, so, let me turn this auto lock off real quick. Okay. Alright, so what you want to do, this does all devices on 4.0, 4.0.1, and the iPad on 3.2.1. Okay, so all iPhone 4, 3GS, 3G, iPods, blah, 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 all of them. Alright, so you go to Safari, and then... You go to, I'm going to go to jailbreak me, dot modmyeye.com because I know jailbreakme.com server is slammed right now so it's probably crashing. So jailbreak me. I don't know if you guys probably can't even see that. Jailbreak me dot mod my eye dot com and go. It'll bring you to this screen here. I mean this is pretty much idiot proof. You might have to keep trying it. It's not really idiot proof because it's crashing right now. It's supposed to be, but the servers are so busy that they're crashing all the time. So you might have to try this over and over again to get it to work. Hopefully I'll get lucky on this one. Alright, so you slide to jailbreak. And I'll start downloading. It says downloading. This might take a while. <clears throat> then after this it should say jailbreaking if it doesn't go try it again if you keep trying it and trying it and it still doesn't do it you might have to restore to a fresh clean firmware Technically, you shouldn't have to restore it. They do recommend syncing it just in case you lose any pictures, music, data, emails, or anything. Anything could happen like that. So if you sync it with iTunes first, then um, you then you'll protect yourself from losing anything. So. Don't go bitching at anybody if you lose anything because I told you to sync with iTunes first to back up your information. And if you don't do that, then that's your own problem. But as you can see right here, it says jailbreaking, sit tight. I turned my lights off because the glare from my lights are horrible on my phone. And I don't know if you can see my clock on there. But it's 1.25 a.m. And i got to work tomorrow. So I'm doing this for you guys. You don't have to have this thing plugged into your computer. I happen to have it plugged in because I just restored it. So as you can see right here, it's not plugged in. Anymore, anyways. Now this might seem like it's taking a second for you impatient people, but the work that they've put into this for us is amazing, and I really appreciate it. I hope all you guys do. Uh, Comex, Planet Being, Muscle Nerd, CH Pone, all them. Okay, so now it says, Cydia has been added to the home screen. Have fun. 
So we have now been jailbroken. No need for a computer or anything. So if anybody's got some bright ideas, there's Cydia. I'm on 4.0. I'll double tap this, see? 4.0. There's the garbage ass multitasking that Apple likes to call multitasking, but really it's kind of like saving a page. It's not doing anything in the background. So while I'm in here, I'm going to open up Cydia. I mean, it does do some stupid stuff in the background, but it sucks compared to Backgrounder and Pro Switcher. So right here, most of you guys are going to be users. I'll set this up as a user. I can always change it later. You're probably not a hacker. Even if you think you are, you're probably not. Um, so, unless you know code, stuff like that, then now it's going to reload data. Um, then you're not a hacker, basically. So Now, if it's going to ask for an upgrade, I'm going to do the complete upgrade. And then click confirm up here in the corner. If you're wondering, this is a 3GS right now. This is the old boot ROM. Um, it does all boot ROMs, MC model and MB model, untethered, which for you that don't know what untethered means, um, it means that the phone will reboot as normal. Back in the day, there was a jailbreak that was tethered, and I'm not even going to go into that, but in order to get the phone to work, to power back up, you had to hook it up to the computer. This will reboot exactly as it always has, pretty much. Uh, with the exception of some stuff that they did to it on the jailbreak. So... I don't know if you can read up there at the top, but I have green writing that says this device has SHSH on file for iPhone OS slash iOS 3.0, Now, if you're a new user, you'll have something here that says make my life easier right around like right up top here you want to click on that and that will save your SHSH blob your SHSH blob or file is a ECID which is an electronic chip ID for your device which will allow you to downgrade so say Apple comes out with 4.1 and you accidentally upgrade to it and there's no jailbreak for it and you love your jailbreak so you don't want to lose it and you don't really want to be on 4.1 without a jailbreak so if you want to back up and go back to 4.0 or 4.01 or any of these it'll only work for whatever firmware you have you started your first time you jailbroke the phone so then after you do that it will automatically grab the blobs for each firmware you put on there okay and if you want to back it up that's another video and I'm not going to go into all the details about that so that's how you jailbreak the new iPhone 4 iPad on 3.1.2 and I hope you guys like it hope you have fun uh, you can subscribe to my videos if you want. I'm not too active in it anymore. Uh, I do do it a little bit more in the winter when I'm not working as much. So uh, that's the deal. Thanks, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Uh, for you, those of you that want to say my voice sounds like I'm stoned or whatever, you can just go to hell. I really don't give a shit. So whatever. All right. Thanks. Bye.